You have entered the Chronix rabbit hole and Wolfpack. Welcome back to another reaction to Love Bites. The winner of the last contest is the Hammer of Wrath. And this is live at Knocking at Heaven's Gate. Konnichiwa watashi no nama e wa Kyle desu. Hello, my name is Kyle. It is nice to meet y'all. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of the Love Bites we have done about six or more Love Bites songs in total. Edge of the World was the last one. I'll make sure to throw up the playlist for all the Love Bites songs that we have done on this channel, as well as Edge of the World. And how we're going to move forward with the next song coming down the rabbit hole for Love Bites is after watching this Hammer of Wrath video, and you see what I like about this, suggest something in the comment section below and just put one link to what song I should do in the the comment that has the most up likes, I am going to do that reaction. We had two comments that were above 20 likes that actually both of them talked about the Hammer of Wrath. Something very important for me on this one. Um, Bami is actually on base on this one. I've watched Miho perform for Love Bites all the way through this. So I'm very excited to see the new bassist Fami here as well as everyone else. This is becoming one of my favorite bands and I really do think they are one of the greatest bands of all time. Female, male, or whatever else gender you want to say. Regardless of that, they are incredible talents. I'm excited to see this song. It's under five minutes, so there's probably going to be a lot in this. I can't wait to see it. I love their live work. They're just beyond incredible. And seeing Haruna ready to drum right off the bat here is getting me excited. So if you guys are excited too, just have a good time and like this video if you had a great time with us. All right. Stomadori! Wait, we are Love Bites. Does this mean this is the beginning of the concert here? What a way to have an intro. And if this is an intro concert song, I already know this is going to kick some bloody ass. Woo! Oh! Oh my god, I'm actually used to seeing um, the subtitles under, so it's nice. Now, I can't necessarily hear what Asami is saying. She sounds amazing, so I'm more focusing on the music on this one. And like I said, if this is an intro for a concert or an album, this is the way that you start one of those things off because it has so much energy. There's so much skill involved, but then there's also that crowd interaction that you can mix in with it, as you saw. And it's just, it's the perfect way to bring up energy for an amazing concert that we're going to see. They look phenomenal, and it's awesome to see Bami on the bass there with that big old smile, too. Look at that smile! Oh, 
Oh yeah, get up there! Something I have learned with Love Bites is never pause after a solo because there's a second one coming right in. We were like halfway through this song and normally I focus on the guitar so much as a guitarist myself, but Haruna, Fami, Asami were really taking front stage for this amazing song. Even though there was those incredible technical fast riffs going on the whole time, I was more attracted to the other parts. But now that they came in with their solos, it's like, yeah, this is why I fell in love with them instantly because their technique i love miyako's um what would you call it stoicism when she's playing opposed to midori who is like a lot more um enthusiastic with her facial expressions and it's nice to see fami with so much love and happiness when she's playing because when M miho was performing she was very stoic as well though she was an enjoying her performance but i'm a very enthusiastic person so i like to see more enthusiasm than stoicism but something about miyoko when she's doing her stoicism it's more attractive for me i wouldn't want to see her be super enthusiastic enthusiastic something about her personality and her look and style she's just slaying it and uh, it's so hard not to just go and hear that solo again, which is why I always listen to Love Bites right after the reaction, just so I can like hear exactly what that solo was like. I love watching them actually perform it because they're just doing some techniques that I can't do or seen, and I'm just flabbergasted again. How do you guys keep doing this to me? Look at that face! Y'all, I love my little intricate little moments like that where they have a little semi breakdown before moving it on to the next part. They did that so perfectly with the drums and bass there. Let's hear that one more time. That was inquisitive. Guys, I need to hear that part one more time.
what I that solo, that tapping solo at the end is incredible. But I also wanted to hear a song me how long she held that note while that solo was going on. Are you kidding me? She just held that for like 15 to 20 seconds while that amazing tapping solo was going on. This band is beyond incredible. And I knew, I just knew because they are lovers of music. They've seen what's worked before. So they're not silly or stupid where they know a beginning of a concert, a beginning of a CD has to have a banger like this. If I'm wrong, let me know. And maybe it's in the middle of it or like the second song, but that's how I took it in. This was the perfect intro to Love Bites itself. If you just love the thrashy side of metal and you want to hear more technical technical stuff like this, this is a good song to check out. I'm not saying all their other songs aren't amazing to start with, but this is really good for, say, people from America or Canada where they've only heard thrash metal more than this type of music. Because Love Bites is genreless, y'all. Wolfpack, you guys know this. They can do really anything. Their ballads are incredible. Their their power metal is insane. They're they're progressive in a way too. They they just move so well. And again, I'm an enthusiastic person. So seeing just how much fun Fami was having, like even Asami when she was singing and looking at Fami when she was having her moment there, like you can just see that love. And so that's amazing that she's fit so well with this incredible group. And I don't know which way you guys are going to lead me next. So please remember, put down your song that you want me to check out next in the comments below with the link to send me to the correct video. I've just really been working out. That's how we've been doing this the whole time. And you guys keep leading me the correct way. This is exactly what I wanted from Love Bites. I even saw my last community post. If Someone thought I forgot about Love Bites. Hell no, I haven't forgot about Love Bites. I was planning to do it today. That's why you're seeing it now. So it's incredible. If you guys had a good time with me with this video, hit the like button. Again, you know what to comment down below. I said so much about the music already. Like I said, I was focusing on the drummer, the singer, and the bassist over the guitarist for most of that song until those solos came in. And then obviously my guitar loving took over there and I just wanted to see more, but I just love now that I have the confidence to know all the names. I feel like I know the band a bit more now where that's kind of the goal on this reaction channel. It's not just to shuffle through all these popular songs or popular bands. It's actually to get to know them and um, feel like a part of the wolf pack or whatever group it is for whatever band support there is out there and i love being a part of these groups because everyone's so different around the world but what unites us all is amazing music like this i'm all the way from canada while they're all the way over in japan that's like the farthest distances you can go around the world and yet they are loved here and I'm trying to get more people from Canada to love them. I don't know if they ever come to Canada to perform. If they do, I'll be going instantly. Um, this this is just incredible. It, Like I said, it's an amazing first song for a concert or an album. That's how I was taking it. I didn't check the lyrics out because they didn't have them there. I couldn't hear it as well. The Hammer of Wrath, that can really mean anything. Um, as you guys know so please let me know what kind of the meaning of this song was if you do know and if you want me to see more please hit that like button subscribe if you are new but we are now exiting the rabbit hole thank you guys so much wolfpack for being here but peace and love god bless y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more enter the chronicness Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me A Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support.